We bless the name of the Lord for today's open heaven. And we trust that um, the Lord has been good to you and that the Lord will bless us through this session in the name of Jesus. Let us have a short word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the praise and glory and honor for today. We thank you because today is the day you have made and you said we should rejoice and be glad in it. As we go through the open heaven, Father, speak to us and bless us. Transform our lives, O oh God, through your word. At the end, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Today's open heaven is tied to the storm stiller. Monday, July 17th, 2023. The storm stiller part one. It's a series. We'll be looking at part one, part two, part three. But well, today we are starting with part one, the storm stiller. Our Bible reading shall be taken from the book of Mark 4, 35 to 41. Mark chapter 4, 35 to 41. And the same day, when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there was, were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the wave beat into the ship, so that it was now full. After he was in the inner part, and he was in the inner part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse shall be taken from John 5, 8. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. The storm stealer. The Bible passage that we read is a story you are you know, familiar with about Jesus and his disciples moving from one side of the town to the other side. And when they were on the sea, the storm rose. When the storm rose, uh, the disciples were afraid. And Jesus was resting at the bottom uh, of the ship, at the inner part of the ship. And then they called him, careless now that we perished. He came and also what he did, what did he do? He rebuked the wind and the, the storm ceased. And they said, what manner of man is this? Uh, that the wind uh, and the sea obey him. That is the story. Jesus Christ is the storm stealer. Let's quickly go, go into the commentary of our Father in the Lord and let us see what we are to learn today. What is a storm? I know you know the definition of a storm, but let's look at what our Father in the Lord uh, said about uh, a storm. A storm is a disturbance of the atmosphere marked by wind and storm 
or a combination of the following, rain, snow, hail, or thunder and lightning. Figuratively, however, a storm is a set of unpleasant circumstances that could result in some loss or the other. Storms of life are in category. They could be physical, spiritual, emotional, financial, material, political, etc. Our Father in the Lord, the, the finest term as a disturbance. If you have um, been on the sea before, you will see that when you are riding in a boat or a ship or a canoe, uh, the, the waves of the sea and the wind will begin to blow. But when the intensity and the force is high, there will be a disturbance, which will begin to move the boat around and people in the boat might be afraid. In fact, surely you will be afraid. But that is a storm. And we know that um, based on what our Father in the Lord said, he said there could be different kinds of storms. You know, it could be physical, it could be spiritual, it could be material, it could be financial. So, storm can come in different form. And then, whatever the form, the center of today's open heaven is that Jesus can steal that storm. In our text, we read about the rising of a great storm that could have capsized the boat. Jesus and his disciples were sailing in. The storm stiller, however, commanded that the storm would be still, and it was so. Today, we will look at the physical storm in terms of ill health. I pray that any storm of ill health you may be battling is still now in Jesus' name. You know, when we looked at the categories of storms, we looked at material, spiritual, uh, financial, political, etc. But now, we want to consider the storm of ill health. Ill health can be a storm. It can be an influence. It can be uh, an attack from the enemy. It can be uh, an eradicated sickness. Uh, the sickness can be hereditary, but whatever it is, Jesus can steal that storm. And as our Father in the Lord has prayed, I decree into your life that every storm of sickness will be stilled in the name of Jesus. I decree you receive healing in your bones, in your flesh, in your brain. Every part of your body will hear the word of the Lord and there will be perfect health in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's quickly look at other part of the co commentary. There was also a story in the Bible of a man at the pool of Bethsaida who has been there for 38 years. He has lost hope. He has given up. But Jesus, the storm stiller, had an encounter with him. And Jesus said, will thou love to be healed? He said, look, I have no one to put me in the water. He has been looking for the help of man. Perhaps you are watching and you have gone to one doctor or the other, one physician or the other. You have spent money like the woman of the issue of blood and there seems to be no solution to that health problem. I decree in the name that is above all names that the storm stealer, Jesus, Jesus, the greatest physician, will touch you in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of his resurrection will eat you, will touch you, and do healing, miracle in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The almighty God is asking you today, do you want to be healed? If yes, if your answer is yes, then you must fulfill the condition for healing. 
Divine healing is a food meant for the children. According to Matthew 15, 26, divine food, divine healing is a food meant for the children. If you want to be healed, it's possible. God can heal you. I've seen people healed uh, in the name of Jesus. And God can heal you. He can make you whole. But you need to fulfill the condition. And what is the condition? You need to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Because healing, divine healing is the children's bread. When you become a child of God by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then divine healing becomes an inheritance to you. When Jesus wanted to steal the storm in the young man's that was suffering terribly from palsy, the Bible says, And behold, they brought to him a sick man of palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing his faith, said unto, him, unto this sick of palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sin be forgiven thee. From this passage, you will realize that sin can cause sickness. And for sickness to go, your sin needs to And how can your sin be forgiven? It is by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Then your righteousness will be replaced with righteousness. You'll be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Then you are saved. When you are saved, you are a partaker. You become a partaker of divine healing. In conclusion, this implies that you should repent of your sin and seek God's forgiveness if you want him to steal the storm of heal earth in your life. And you, as you heed, as you hear this call today, every storm of he health in your life will cease in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you given your life to Christ? If you have not, this is an opportunity. Why not bow down your heads and ask God to have mercy on you and save you? He saved me once when I gave my life to him and I've been his child ever since. He can save you. And once he saves you, Divine healing is your portion. He held to be a thing of the past. Why not pray? And if you are a child of God, divine healing, heal health is your portion. Uh, divine healing is your portion. Heal health is not your portion. Hence, by the power of his resurrection, I decree healing into your life. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Thank you, Father, for this morning. We bless your holy name. We give you all the praise. Thank you for the word you have sent to us from our Father and the Lord. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that everyone watching, you will heal in the name of Jesus. Any kind of sickness in their body, I decree healing in the name of Jesus. I decree that it is well with your spirit, soul, and body. Thank you, Father, because you have answered. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.